Welcome to the American Lane Podcast. I hope everybody's staying safe and practicing social distancing. So many years ago, in a galaxy far, far away, oh, not really, but Toyota did identify the seven wastes when they were developing the Toyota production system between 1948 and 1975. As the production system was integrated into Western culture, an eighth waste, not listening to people's ideas, was adopted. To put into the correct order, the eight wastes spell out downtime. D O W N T I M E. And this mnemonic helps you remember what the eight wastes are in a business. Let's go through this important lean framework right after the intro. Welcome to the American Lean Podcast, where we cover five topics in five days in about five minutes. The only place in the world where you can get daily lean coaching. Your host is Tom Reed, and he shares his 30 years of experience and covers leadership, culture, entrepreneurship, lean methodologies, industry 4.0, and interview special guests on their lean journey. We're glad you're here. So let's go. Welcome in to the American Lean Podcast. And like I mentioned in the introduction, we want to talk about the eight wastes that exist in a business. So waste number one, defects. What is a defect? In lean thinking, it is a product that doesn't meet customer expectations. You go to a restaurant, order a hamburger, plain, no mustard, no mayonnaise, etc., and it comes out covered with condiments, and you send it back. That is a defect. It didn't meet your expectations. And since they threw out the hamburger, it also increased waste. Other forms of defects might include errors in documents, misshipments, misreading an x-ray, etc. All forms of defects. Waste number two, overproduction. This shows up in the form of a lot of work in process on the shop floor, piles of files on a desk, buses that run empty, or ordering too many lab tests to be completed. A process is outputting more production than the next step in the process can use. After all, we have to keep everyone busy all the time, right? Waste number three is waiting. DMV. Enough said. Now, I have seen DMV kiosks in the Denver area where I live. These are similar to a red box machine where you can go up, put in your license plate number, and buy your tags right away from the machine. And this is a technology solution to help eliminate people queuing at a location. What causes waiting is either the next process can't take what we have made, or we are waiting on raw materials for our own process. In either case, the processes aren't balanced. Other forms of waiting are that we wait for information, we wait for decisions, we wait for people, materials, or maybe maintenance as an example. Waste number four is not listening to people's ideas. Who is doing the work every day? That's right, the employees on the floor or in the business. Who should you get involved when you want to make improvements? Believe me, this waste has the most impact on your bottom line. People have lots of opportunities in today's work environment. Make sure that your company is driving employee engagement and focusing upon making their lives easier. Waste number five is transportation. Think of transportation as using a truck, a pallet jack, a fork truck, or some form of equipment. That is the difference between transportation and motion. Moving items from one warehouse to another without being sold is transportation waste. Sending people from one lab site to another because your equipment is down is another transportation waste. Number six is inventory. Behind not listening to people's ideas, I think this is the second most costly waste. Having too much inventory crushes cash flow. Measuring inventory turns is key to your survival if you are in manufacturing. The simple measurement for inventory turns is sales dollars divided by inventory dollars. So let's say you're a $50 million a year company and you have four inventory turns. That means that you have about $12.5 million tied up in inventory. If you are that same $50 million a year company and have 10 inventory turns, you only have $5 million tied up in inventory. That $7.5 million can do a lot for your business. Waste number seven is motion. This is similar to transportation, but involves people's motion. Probably 10 years ago or so, I used to watch baristas walk all over to finish an order at Starbucks. Then they underwent a lean transformation. Now when I observe the baristas, they don't go through near the motion that they did before. So observe and identify areas in your business where employees are doing a lot of motion and see if there are ways to eliminate it. Waste number eight is excess processing sometimes referred to as gold plating, a product or a service. Are you asking people to enter identical information into forms or software when once is enough? Are you offering goods or services with extra features that people don't want? Does your phone system offer too many options when customers call in? These are all forms of excess processing. The eight wastes are everywhere in your business. Go take a walk with some employees and take some notes. Identify the wastes and put them on a downtime chart and then go attack that waste. So I hope you enjoyed our time together today. 
and realize consuming information is great, but I want you to take this information to make yourself and your company a little bit better today. This podcast is for you, so if there are topics that you would like me to cover, or if you'd like to share your company's lean journey, please contact me at tom at americanlean.com. Full show notes can be found at americanlean.com slash blog slash they ate wastes. Until tomorrow, have a great one. Thank you for joining us today. As always, we are honored to serve you and we hope that you and your company are getting a little bit better every day. Please subscribe, rate and review this podcast and share it with others in the lean and business community. If you'd like to turbocharge your lean efforts, please visit us at AmericanLean.com.